Thanks very much. I'll, I promise I'll keep it very, very short. Um, but I'd, I'd first like to thank Greg for keeping me last because um, it's great to have some of the cases preceding mine because uh, I know it then makes ours look so much better than it even was. And so, so I am very grateful for that. I'm just kidding. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, rather, than me, rather than me giving you any preamble, what I think we'll do is we'll start, start with the video first. One, two, one, two, three, go! In Taiwan, you can see various convenience stores in every corner, every city. In this highly competitive retail sector, 7-Eleven is the leading brand with 4,800 stores in an island with over 24 million people. Loyalty and frequency have been key factors leading to the success of 7-Eleven. A key driver in achieving the loyalty objective is the launch of collectible branded mascots, Open Jan series. Open Jan as a brand mascot appeals across age and gender and is a key symbol for the friendly, fun and humorous personality of 7-Eleven. Mascots can be collected for free with points redemption program in the store and can be sold directly. This is also a popular topic that fans talk about on the 7-Eleven official Facebook fan page. How to leverage the social currency on Facebook, drive people to the store and continue building the fun personality of 7-Eleven. By launching the new Open Jan series, Sound and Light, we decided to give an additional dimension to the brand by opening it up to consumers and leverage its social presence even more. Using the augmented reality face recognition technology, we built up giant outdoor LED screens in the busiest spot of Taipei City. You and your friends will be decorated as the new Open Jan series, and your customized Open Jan photos will be directly posted to the official 7 Eleven Facebook page. You can post it on your own profile page, share it with your friends, or download the photo as a coupon for 7 Eleven points redemption. For those who cannot attend the event, you can still upload your photos to experience and share the fun. During the six weeks while the giant billboards went live, more than 30,000 people participated and over 10,000 pictures posted on the social networking site. Following the AR Outdoor campaign, it added over 200,000 fans to grow to surpass 1 million Facebook fans, capturing 13% of total Taiwan Facebook users. Successfully launched Open Jan Sound and Light series with zero media budget. What money cannot buy is also the fun and entertaining memories for friends and families, and a brand experience driving retail loyalty, combining advertising, utility, and entertainment in a social and mobile world. Brought to you by Open Jan at 7 Eleven. Okay, so. Um you know, I think, uh, you know, if we, 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 we take one look at the, the Taiwan or the Taipei uh, retail environment, how many people have been to Taiwan or Taipei? Quite, quite a few of you, okay. So you know if you're standing in a spot and you're, you're looking for a convenience store, there's one right ahead of you and then you turn, oh look, there's another convenience store. Oh, uh, 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 and another one as well. I think that was the challenge, okay? So it's a very, very crowded fish pond, and we had to make our client stand out more than, than any other client. I think we did that very well. The key thing is we only used two channels to do that. So what I'm going to do is take you through the five reasons why I think that this campaign was, was innovative, um, but not just in, innovative, it was also successful. The first thing is, you know, we, we took everything that was going on on Facebook. There's a lot of social currency there. It's very, very popular Facebook environment. We found out that people were talking about the Open Chan characters all the time. One in five posts, they were naming themselves after these characters. They were establishing groups, they were talking about them, they were trading about them. So we knew we had something to play with and, and ultimately what we wanted to do is take that social currency and take it offline. So we tried something very, very brave, which was uh, the augmented reality poster. And you might think, well, okay, well, I've heard of that happening before, but it was a first in Taiwan. It was the beginning of this year, and, and it was incredibly successful. What was great about it was it allowed people to identify with the 7-Eleven characters, and, uh, and those characters themselves were, were associated with 7-Eleven's fun kind of attitude. So people could be donned in the decorations, 
um, but also at the end of it, they, they got their 15 megabytes of fame through the posters and the photos that were taken. But beyond that, obviously, they were connected to Facebook. So all of, all of these posters took those photos, then immediately those posters appeared on Facebook pages for 7-Eleven Taiwan. And people could then go on to, to the Facebook page, collect the, their pictures, share them with their friends, change their profile pictures. So if you imagine 150 friends per individual on Facebook in Taiwan, then you've got your own media effects, um, which, which made, made this campaign particularly successful. 10,000 pictures taken in a six week period, 3,000 were shared, so you know, if you do your maths, you can figure, pretty much figure out where that leaves us. Emotional, look at those faces, look at them. I mean, you've got the little kid at the top there, you've got the grandparents, you've got this guy, can you see this guy in the middle there, just between these two ladies? You know, he's, he looks like a really grumpy guy, but he could not suppress his smile. You know, he was, he was really enjoying the experience. So I think from an emotional standpoint, it really stood out, but most importantly, results. Okay, so on two levels, we had uh, results that said, hey, you know, we're really loving, uh, we're really loving Facebook, we're loving these characters. Um, the result was 200,000 new Facebook fans. We took, uh, we took Taiwan over one million Facebook fans in, in one campaign over a six week, week period. That was a record for Taiwan and the one million was a record for Taiwan. Now standing at 1.5 million, they're still the leading brand on Facebook. So this goes from strength to strength but it didn't end there. Emotion's one thing. The next thing is, does it create sales? Innovation, fantastic. For the sake of innovation, no. But if you can do inno get into innovation kind of, innovative kind of campaigns going, the result in, in money, the result in sales, and that's fantastic. So from this, 90% of uh, coupons that were, uh, were redeemed and 20% increase in sales over that period of time for Facebook that could only have been attributed to, to this campaign. So I think that really, really says it all um, as a campaign. I don't think it needs to say anything more. Thanks, Greg.